Everyone's different, everybody's body geometry is different, and everybody's riding style is different. Depending on what you do, there'll be certain shoes out there that'll make your tricks a little bit more comfortable. I believe that the bottom of the shoe plays a big role in throwing and catching tricks. I know there's all different designs. Vans is known for having their waffle style shoe, which seems pretty interesting for flatland riding. The Jordan ones tend to be an overall well-designed shoe for the riding I do. But then there's a lot of judgment on shoes like this when people post pictures online or it's their thing. I even got a comment recently on Instagram on a photo that I posted of my new pair of Jordans and my scooter and they were calling it a flex. And that's what I'm saying, these shoes are known for that. I don't blame the person for commenting that because the majority of the people that post shoe pictures online comes off like they are flexing. My priority with these shoes is that they're comfortable, they're safe, they last a while and they're worth the money. If they're leather, if they're mids or highs, they look like a pair of shoes that I would be confident in wearing them. I get it. Now I don't always use Jordans. When I ride flat, I use the shoe that I used before I started wearing Jordans and that shoe is the Nike Stefan Janowski. I've been riding in these shoes for over five years and when I ride flat I still stick to these shoes. The Jordans are a bulky shoe so you have to like it. If you don't like this beefy chunk of material then you're not gonna like these shoes and you're gonna lean more toward a skate style shoe. When I ride flat I don't need all that support, I don't need all that protection and I actually need more room to be precise especially with my peg tricks. If I'm trying to land on my pegs which are only two and a half inches long, the sides of the mid top air in the Jordans have gotten away where they would hit my head too when I'm doing tricks. So the Janowskis have been the perfect shoe for riding flat. <laughs> Recently, I picked up the slip-on ones. A lot of times the tongue, especially since the shoe is a leather, the tongue would hurt the top of my foot. But I cut that extra material and the slip-on shoes have been perfect for riding flat. Now, what shoes for you? It all depends on your riding style. Take my advice and try it. Jordans tend to be a little bit more expensive, which sucks. I'm sure you can find a set that isn't hype or exclusive or limited. You can get your hands on a pair of Jordans, try them out. Let me know in the comments what shoes you use and also give me your opinion on Jordans. What's your first thought on Jordan 1s? Do you instantly think it's a hype shoe? Do you think it's a good quality shoe? Do you own them? Let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing those. Giving these videos a different approach recently, trying it out. I hope you like it. And that's the end of this one. I'll see you later.